contemplate boxing. Listen, so we know it was only a few days ago that um, the unfortunate side of boxing reared its ugly head. Uh, this was in regards to, you know, highly rated prospect Maxim uh, Dadashev. I apologize if I, I said his his name incorrectly. Uh, we all saw, you know, how he was being led out the ring. First, we saw how Buddy McGirt was pleading with him to allow him to stop the fight because he was taking too many punches uh, against his opponent. Then we saw as he was being led out of the ring, he couldn't get out of the ring of his own strength. And the further and further he got uh, back to the locker rooms, uh, he couldn't even hold himself up. He couldn't hold himself up of his own will. Uh, then, of course, we heard how uh, he had to have the emergency brain surgery. Part of his skull had to be removed in order to uh, try to help decrease the pressure in his brain. Uh, the pressure in his skull, rather, because um, he had a subdural hematoma, which means that the, the brain was bleeding, uh, unfortunately. You know, it was reported by uh, BoxingScene.com as well as ESPN.com that uh, Maxim Dadashev had passed away due to his injuries uh, from that particular fight. You know, I was at work whenever uh, the news popped up on my phone and, uh, you know, it just made my shoulders slump because it's always tragic. It's tragic when anyone passes away. Uh, it's particularly tragic when they pass away in this particular manner, in this fashion. Uh, now, I know sometimes when it comes to certain things, you know, we say, well, you know, at least he or she, you know, died doing what it is that they love. Anytime it comes to fighters dying uh, from participating in this particular sport, I can't, I can never say that, you know, uh, because a lot of these ladies and gentlemen, they die in pursuit of something greater. Many of them may love boxing, yeah, but they're trying to pursue something greater for their families. I was reading the report on ESPN and it was talking about the type of individual that, you know, Maxim was, you know, his favorite movies, uh, which was like, you know, Jumanji and, you know, some other things and, you know, how he was really like trying to learn his English and everything um, to help better make a life for he, his wife and his son, uh, both of whom he leaves behind in this world. Um, how he wanted to, you know, take his family to Miami. And I think the report even said, you know, to Disneyland and Disney World and, and things like that. And he's not going to get to do that. You know, his family is going to have uh, a tough time, you know, going forward. Um, you know, and I mean, it's, it's a tragedy when these things happen. Uh, you know, sometime back, I made a video and I stated, and I still state, you know, even now, you know, there are no bums in boxing. Because when fighters get into the ring and they're trying to do these things for themselves and for their families and everyone that they love and care about, they're trying to make this path, you know, um, they're putting their lives on the line. And every so often, you know, we're reminded when things like this happen, you know, there's always going to be those fans that say, oh, you know, he or she is a bum, you know, bum this and bum that. There's no bums in boxing, you know. Uh, these ladies and gentlemen, they put their lives on the line. And unfortunately, sometimes this sport takes their lives and they don't get to accomplish the things that they set out to do in this sport, you know, so, I, I mean, I wish there was some sort of positive spin that I could really put on this video that I can, I can leave this out on, but unfortunately, I, 
at the moment, I can't come up with anything. You know, uh, the family and loved ones of Maxim will probably never see this video. You know, but, you know, still my condolences go out to everybody that loved and cared about Maxim. You know, his family, his team, uh, everybody that worked with him, you know, everybody that was in his corner. Uh, you know, I definitely hope and pray, you know, that uh, comfort comes to you, you know, whether it's today, tomorrow or years down the line, however long it takes, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's just a tragedy, you know, so, uh, to Maxim Dadashev, uh, again, I apologize. I really apologize if I'm saying this gentleman's name incorrectly, uh, rest in peace, you know, rest in peace to this gentleman. And, uh, we'll definitely be, you know, praying for, uh, all that love him, especially, you know, his wife and his son. So contemplate boxing just wanted to contemplate you know on uh this particular tragedy you know god bless everybody peace